Get all this shit out of my house. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it's a little fishbowl effect. How am I? How did I get here? My, what a wonderful day it is outside. Have, I, there's the definite weird guy factor. Global warming? No, I mean, it's warm out, but it's summertime. It's supposed to be warm out. And if you really want to be cutting edge journalism, and I think a part of this is, it's all about exploration. You're on a journey, and you don't know if I'm full of shit or not. This is just Cody's trip. I was just throwing over something bigger for because um, I think you should interview people that think this is all bullshit. Go interview some Republicans too, you know? Not that they're all full of shit, but say, you know, what, what do you think about, you know, solar design? What do you think about sustainability? That's ah, a bunch of bullshit, you know, yada, yada, yada. The shit's hitting the fan, period. You know? and especially here in America, we're all so self-reliant, you know, where we forgot what the tribe was all about. I teach survival skills. You know, I'm hardwired for self-reliance. That's what I do. If I don't do what I teach, then what the hell am I? You know, I need to be living what I'm teaching or it's what I would call a fraud. I've always had a passion for knowing how to do more with less um, because it makes me feel good. It makes me feel more self-reliant. It's pretty obvious that society, in my mind, is just a bunch of dominoes lined up that are ready to go. Unfortunately, I think what might cause a lot of people to shift is pain, is pain in, in, the, in, the, in the instance of uh, inflated goods or like you say gas being, you know, six bucks a gallon or whatever that is. Unfortunately, especially in America, what I see is there's no real move to conserve unless we're almost already out of whatever it is we're trying to conserve at that point. We don't conserve until we're down to the last roll of toilet paper. And I think it's this mindset, I, I believe it revolves around lack of gratitude. But then it gets beyond that and you know, the greed pops in or whatever it is. I'm not going to psychoanalyze. And that's the classic non-Cherokee seven generations looking to the future. We don't even look you know, beyond next Tuesday. And I think that's a huge mistake. We've gone so far hooked into technology that we've kind of pull, um, pulled the plug on common sense. Whether I'm an example or not, um, that's really irrelevant to me. I just want to do what makes sense and I want to pay attention to what Mother Nature doles out because ultimately she's the boss and we can contort and whine and complain and pretend like, you know, I'll, I'll turn the switch and block her out. But when the end of the day comes, the more I can live in tune with the natural cycles of the planet and it's just common sense, it's not grooviness. But unfortunately, to sum it up, I think a lot of people refuse to change or don't have any interest in any sort of conservation until the shit's hitting the fan, period. As far as the whole global system crumbling, what you can do that dovetails nicely with self-sufficiency is make less of a footprint. You know, and if you do decide to build a home, and building a home is not necessarily less of a footprint, but maybe you can remodel or build a smaller home that's passive solar. So in the long run, you're using less resources on the planet. Paying attention to nature as best you can and then party on, you know, don't stress over it because it, life's a drag when you stress over, when I stress over impending doom or lack of resources or whatever it is. It makes the current living uh, a bummer. Party on, dude, don't stress on it. Everything's gonna be okay. You know, there's a lot to be happy and joyful for it, but it's also sad, all the destruction that we're having and more. How, what are we going to do when we can't buy food at the store? What are we going to do when you can't close your door to reality stepping in? How are you going to live? What are you going to take and what are you going to give? How are you going to live? Where are you going to eat? Where are you going to go when your bread does not come from 1,500 miles away? What are you going to do when you got nothing left to say?
I just, I'm doing what makes me happy because I'm not really happy with the global scheme about what's going on. And instead of being angry about that, I chose to be proactive and do something about that that was tangible. Remember, the more you know, the less you need. So pay attention to nature, 